I have a big premiere project that needs to be finished fast and in time because if I don't, I will lose my client. My eternal enemy is trying to sabotage me. Stop stealing my clips, Bowser. I'm afraid we're gonna need some tricks to beat him against the clock. Now we gotta be careful though because I don't wanna fall into eternity. You know what I hate? When I ripple, delete, trim my clips, everything moves to the left, but what doesn't follow are the markers. I don't wanna go back and readjust every marker. Instead, go to the markers menu on top and enable ripple sequence markers. If you now ripple trim delete in a timeline, all the markers will follow along, which means they are at the correct location. Unlike me, I'm, I'm just stuck somewhere in a cave. Is that a ghost trying to catch me? I need to find a way to get out. Oh, a mushroom. Now I'm bigger. And you know what's also big? <laughs> the text panel update coming to Premiere. It's currently in beta, but it's quite powerful. Head over to Edit, Preferences, and choose Transcription. Enable automatically transcribe clips, then all the clips in the timeline will now be transcribed in the background. Next, open up the text panel by going to the window and choosing Text. Premiere turned your voice into text here, and with the new update, you can now edit your video by adjusting the text. Select the line that you want to delete and click on the Extract button. As you can see, Premiere will cut away that sentence from the clip and it will also close the gap. Super time efficient. And speaking of efficiency, zooming in into a clip is a pain in the pooper because you need to open up this drop down menu and make a guess by choosing one of these scalings. A good thing they allow you to set shortcuts for this. Search for zoom monitor and choose whatever key you want. Voila, easy. Just like this level, I think I'm gonna beat it. Ah, crap, I accidentally fell on this pipe. Just like I accidentally nested this clip. I can't use Ctrl Z anymore because I did this at the start of my edit. Now you can open up the nest, select everything, copy it, and then paste it, but that just takes too long. Disable the insert and override toggle and then drag that nested sequence again into the timeline. There you go. Ah, this place is so much safer. I better stay here. Just like you better stay inside Premiere to avoid distractions. Luckily, you don't have to leave because with the Storyblocks plugin, you can download an unlimited amount of stock assets from within this window right here. Oh, and they're also sponsoring today's video. Now you will find everything you need to make your videos stand out. From very specific stock clips to Premiere Pro and After Effects templates, they have it all. Now just look at this title animation, for example. It took me 10 seconds to make. I can use music and sound effects, which are helping me to bring my creative vision to life. In fact, every sound effect used in this video is coming from Storyblocks, except for my voice, of course. HD and 4K resolution assets are constantly being added, such as green screen videos, animated backgrounds, and even collections. Now I can already hear you thinking, what about license? Sing and copyright Jordy will stop worrying right now because Storyblocks has you covered. You don't have to pay royalty fees or track your assets. There's absolutely no legal jargon. And with Storyblocks Maker, you can edit your footage super fast and easy. It's incredibly user friendly and anyone can use it. Just drag in the clips you need and voila. Create content for every platform by using the smart resize feature. Now take back creative control with Storyblocks unlimited royalty free stock library by clicking the first link in the description down below or just go straight to storyblocks.com forward slash Premier Basics. Oh no, Bowser just stole another clip and now my media is offline. Ah, I'll never finish in time. I have to find it back, but I don't know where I left it. To prevent this from happening, don't just leave your assets in the download folder. Move everything related to your project to a folder in the same location of your project file project file. <laughs> that way you can move that project folder to any location that you want and you'll never see that media offline again. Bowser destroyed my PC. Now I have to buy a new one. Everything is gone. My shortcuts, workspaces, preferences, everything. But there's a fix. Go to edit and then preferences. Click on sync settings. Make sure all your stuff is enabled and click OK. Then go to file, sync settings and click on sync now. Voila, everything is back there. You know, maybe you've got a friend with very cool shortcuts cuts, workspaces, and preferences, and you really want that too. Well, then you can choose to use settings from a different account instead. You can also save your shortcuts as a preset. Then on another computer, just move the preset file to this location, and now you can find it within the preset list. Now, let's say that you want to swap these two clips in a timeline because you accidentally placed them wrong. That can be painful because you need to drag it away, put the clip in between, and move the other one back. That's a waste of time. So just hold down Ctrl-Alt on your keyboard and drag the clip you want to swap on top of the other one. 
one. There you go. Now they swap places and Premiere will make sure everything else stays intact. Oh no, Bowser caught me. Now I'll never finish the project and I'll lose my clients. Oh, what is this? The razor tool. Yes, I can cut myself free. And now I'll use that razor tool to cut Bowser in two. Damn it, he's way too fast. I can never catch him. Well, good thing I know a trick up my sleeve to make a cut go even faster. Use the shortcut Control plus K on your keyboard. And I personally changed this shortcut to C because that's so much faster. Here, let me show you. I'm coming for you, Bowser. Ha, got you. Finally, but, but I still need to export my video and I only have one minute left. You know, before you start editing, double check your sequence settings. Under video previews, make sure that the preview file format is set to a high quality like QuickTime ProRes. While you're editing, you're constantly rendering heavy effects, after effects, comps and whatnot. And now when we go to export the video, we can use those rendered previews by enabling use previews under general settings. This will make your export go so much faster. Come on, come on. Yes, right in time. All there's left to do is upload and send it to the client. I know, I lost my internet connection. Ah, it's too late for me. But if you want to find clients and earn money with video editing, you'll also need to know how to make great videos. Not only how to edit faster, well, you can master these professional editing tricks in the video here on my left. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay creative.